Compute Engine is like a blank canvas. You decide how to configure virtual machines or VMs using combination of CPU, memory, disk and networking. And for those of you who want to tinker further, I've got a good news. You can even configure network interfaces. See, by default, every VM instance in a virtual private cloud or VPC network has a single network interface. However, you can configure an instance with multiple network interfaces. In this video, we will learn how to create a Compute Engine VM with multiple network interfaces and examine its use cases. To begin with, let's look at the prerequisites that you need to complete before creating a VM with multiple network interfaces. First, ensure that each network interface is attached to a different VPC network, either standalone or shared VPC network. Next, ensure that each network interface belongs to a subnet whose IP range doesn't overlap with the subnets of any other interface. Finally, you must either have one of the following roles project owner or editor role or compute.instanceadmin.v1 role. If you're using a shared VPC architecture, you should have the compute.network user role at the shared VPC host project level or at the shared VPC subnet level. Be aware that there are some limitations or caveats with VMs that have multiple network interfaces. You can configure the network interface only when you create the instance. Network interfaces can be deleted only when the instance is deleted. IP forwarding can be enabled only at the VM level and cannot be applied to individual interfaces. Keep in mind, the number of virtual network interfaces scales with the number of vCPUs with a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 8. Refer to the table to determine how many network interfaces can be attached to an instance. Now, let's dive into a demo and create a VM instance with three network interfaces from three different VPC networks. In the Google Cloud Console, go to the Compute Engine page. Click Create Instance. Specify the instance name, let's say instance-multi-nic. Select the preferred region or leave it as the default. Since we are creating more than two network interfaces, we will need at least more than two vCPUs. Let's select E2 standard 4 as our machine type. Keep the remaining configurations as default and move on to the networking section. Scroll down to the advanced options and select networking. Click the default interface and verify the configurations. This is our first network interface NIC0 that will be created in the default VPC network. Click add interface to add a new network interface. Select the VPC network and subnet to use for the network interface IP address. Click done. Repeat the steps to add the third network interface from the third VPC network. Click done and then click create. Congratulations, the VM instance is created with three network interfaces. Now let's test our VM for connectivity to different VPC networks. Use the SSH command to connect to the VM instance that we just created. Run the sudo ifconfig command to list all the network interfaces on this VM. There are three interfaces, one for each VPC network. Execute the ping command to VM A with IP address 10.128.1.3 from default network. There you go. We are able to connect to VM A. Next. Test the connectivity to other VMs that are already created in their respective VPC networks. VM B with IP address 10.2.2.3 from VPC network B. And VM C with IP address 10.3.3.3 from VPC network C. Great! The connectivity tests are successful from VM with three network interfaces. Multiple network interfaces can be really useful in a handful of situations, especially for perimeter isolation. Multiple network interfaces can be used to isolate public facing services from an internal network and its services. You can configure one interface to accept public facing traffic and another to handle backend private traffic that has more restrictive access controls. Network security. Networking and security virtual appliances such as web application firewall, security application level firewalls, and WAN accelerators are usually configured with multiple virtual interfaces.
Be aware of how the DNS resolution works with instances having multiple network interfaces. All the Google Cloud VMs have an internal host name that looks something like this. When a DNS query is executed with the internal host name, it resolves to the primary network interface NIC0 of the instance. If NIC0 is attached to a VPC network that is different from the VPC network of the instance issuing the DNS query, then the DNS query will fail. For more details about VM with multiple network interfaces, check out the following documents. Thanks for watching the video.